Hi students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to teach to you engineering thermodynamics. So engineering thermodynamics subject la first unit one basic concept and first law of thermodynamics. Whenever you are going to study any new subject, you must know why we need to study or why what are the application of this subject we must know. Okay. So engineering thermodynamics, the application of thermodynamics are wide. So it from the automotive sector to in human body, like a doc, medical sectors. So domestic application of refrigeration system, then automobile engines. So engines like so heat energy converted into mechanical energy. So during the heat transformation, what are the thermodynamic properties are changed? Those things we can go into study in this subject. For next one, the refrigeration system. We the domestic refrigeration system, how the refrigeration systems are functioning. Then what are the basic principles behind that? So those things we can study in this subject. Okay. Then power plant engineering. So how power plants are run. So what are the transformation, energy transformation is there. So those things we can learn through the, the engineering thermodynamics. So end of this lecture, you can you may know the, the basic concept of the engineering thermodynamics, microscopic and microscopic approaches, system and their types, a thermodynamic equilibrium of state, the path and process functions, a cause static process, reversible and irreversible process, heat and work transfer, then displacement of work and PV diagrams, a zero law and a first law of thermodynamics. Now we move into the topic. So what is the engineering thermodynamics? So engineering thermodynamics is the branch of science which deals with the energy transfer and its effects on the property. So during the energy transformation, what are the properties are changed in the system? These things we are going to study through the engineering thermodynamics. Here, just we consider the piston cylinder arrangements. In the the piston cylinder arrangements of the venture. So the piston will enough just I filled with the gas. gas So top of the piston on the dead weights on the different types of weight when they add panasolo. What will happen? The piston try to move down. So next is the another transformation either. So heat transfer or it may be a work transfer. So what it do? It just it compress the inside gases. So in the uh, gas on the end of the just to compress one. So that what will happen? The pressure and the temperature is rises. So yeah, how much pressure is rises? How much temperature is rises? Those physical property we can study through the engineering thermodynamics. So this is the major application of the engineering thermodynamics. So we are going to study about the energy transfers and its effects on the property of the system. So there are two types of engineering th thermodynamics approaches are there. One is a microscopic approach, next one is a macroscopic approach. So macroscopic approach is nothing. Is the behavior of the whole molecules. The all molecules are the average behaviors. We are going to study the engineering thermodynamics property. It's called as a macroscopic approach. Otherwise, we can say classical thermodynamics. In case of microscopic approach, we are going to in-depth study on individual molecules. So over the individual molecules will behave with the due to the applied force on over the individual molecules will behave with the thermodynamics property of the study bunny. Then we are consulted the result, then we get the final result. We can say it's a statistical approach. Over the individual molecules will behave with the study bunny, then we conclude the final result. They like a property of the thermodynamics is called as a microscopic approach otherwise we can say statistical approach so in the throughout this video we are going to study only a classical thermodynamics okay well, so uh, statistical approach we are uh, studying in this video only we are focus on the classical thermodynamics it's nothing but a yeah, macroscopic approach so macroscopic approach is nothing but a yeah, we are study the average behavior of the molecules so Microscopic in this sense, the individual molecules we are going to consider say, individual molecules behavior into the consideration. As a macroscopic approach, we are going into 
average molecule behavior of is taken into that consideration. Okay. So before uh, going into the subject, we must know that major uh, terminology system, surrounding and boundary. So system is nothing but where you are focused. So where you need to study. So let consider here, there is a vessel. The vessel is uh, placed at top of the electrical stove. So the vessel are filled with the water. In case we need to know the, what is the temperature of the water, then I am focusing on the water. So the, where my focus? My focus on water. So the water is considered to be a system. Okay. In case you need to know what is the temperature of this surface of the vessel, then my focus on the surface of the vessel. So the vessel to be considered as a system. So system is nothing but where you are focused. Well, you need to analyze the unknowns. So, that is nothing but a yes, system. So, surrounding is nothing but other than system is called as a surrounding. So, surrounding environment is called as a surrounding. Another one is a boundary. So, boundary is nothing but the dividing of the system and the surrounding is called as a boundary. In this case, the thickness of the vessel is called as a boundary. Thickness of the vessel. Why? Because it is dividing the water and the environment other, other than the system is called as a boundary so the boundary can be classified into two way one is a fixed uh, imaginary boundary or real boundary so this inner surface of the vessel is called as a real boundary because it's a directly physically touch with the system the outer surface of the vessel is called as a imaginary boundary because it's not directly contact with the system okay then the system can be classified into three types. One is a open system, another one is a closed system, the third one is a isolated system. So open system. So open system is nothing but if you are keep the vessel top of the electrical stove. So the electrical stove vessel on the Now I am to on the electrical stove. What will happen? The heat is transferred to the water. So through the vessel surface okay so what will happening if it reach the highest temperature this is nothing but a boiling temperature then water will start to evaporate so water on the now evaporate are it go next one then the surface now they now the heat to transfer out. so open system is nothing but it allowed to transfer the mass as well as energy so open system is nothing but the transformation of mass and the energy in case of closed system let us assume just I am closing the top of the vessel. The top of vessel the top place of the enamel can close plane. Then what will happen? There is no mass transfer because there is no evaporation is taking place in the outside, rather is surrounding. So whereas here the surface will transfer the heat to the surrounding. So in case of closed system, only the mass transfer taken place. Only sorry, energy transfer is taken place where say mass there is no mass transfer in case of closed system let say isolated system is nothing but there is no mass transfer then there is no heat transfer let assume as a thermoflask so what is the purpose of thermoflask it keep the hot or cool in at the same temperature in for the long period of time so it shows that it is a completely insulated so that there is no heat there is no mass transfer this is the general classification of the thermodynamic system okay then we must know what is the property what is the thermodynamic property the thermodynamic property can be classified into two one is a intensive property other one is a extensive property the property which are independent of the mass then the system is called as a intensive property in case the property which are depends on the mass then the system is called as a extensive property say for example intensive property boiling point colors a uh, temperature okay the hardness so these are not in depend on the mass those uh, property are called as a intensive property let's say volume mass weight length are purely depends on the mass of the matter so the matter mass of the system so this uh, property are generally called as here. So next to talk about the thermodynamic equilibrium. So what is thermodynamic equilibrium? We need to 
in order to under determine the thermodynamic property the system should be a, in a thermodynamically equilibrium then only we can know the thermodynamic property when we can say as a thermodynamically equilibrium if the system are in a equilibrium state the system should be a thermally equilibrium mechanically equilibrium and chemically equilibrium for in case of the ther thermally equilibrium the temperature of the system does not change with respect to time in case of mechanical equilibrium it should be a balanced of mass in case of chemical equilibrium there is no chemical reaction taken place between the system okay next we must know the uh, three uh, terminology or is a path state and process so what is the point function then exact differential function then in exact differential function so path is the process is an infinite state through which the system passes while going from initial state to final state is called as a process let here consider i am taking x and y in x axis i consider as a volume in y axis i consider as a pressure okay in just you consider this piston and cylinder arrangement if a piston cylinder arrangement so nadathukira ipo in the piston cylinder ulla na vandu or gases vandu fill panirukken top of the gas vandu enna panirukena just i am applying some amount of force what will happen so initial state initial or state la irukke and the state vandu na one nu eduthukuren appo vandu volume enna irukna highest ah irukke okay la highest volume lowest pressure okay va volume adhigama irukke pressure vandu kammiya irukke ipo in the top of the cylinder la vandu i am applying some amount of force so idhu mela na or force apply pandren what will happening the piston comes down the piston vandu enna irukku comes down so what happening the volume decreases volume enna agudhu decrease agudhu so volume decrease aga solla enna aga pressure rise aga so then the, we can draw the state 2 ipo indha vandu state 1 nu na solren ipo indha edathula suppose piston reach aga idhu vandu state 2 appo enna aachi pressure vandu rise agudhu volume vandu decrease aayidhu so the, if in case you connect this two point this called as a path so in case you need to reach the state 1 to state 2 through some process is called as a path process okay the way to reach the state 2 is called as a path function the state is nothing but a point function okay so this is the state 1 this is a state 2 the at a state only we can know the thermodynamics property okay so at the state only we can know the thermodynamics property is nothing but a point if on the state one la we can know because it state one la idu vandu enna varukku thermo equilibrium state la irukku so there is no movement appo vandu nam enna pannalam pressure temperature volume vandu we can measure so at one during the process we cannot determine the anus because it's a dynamic manner so it's not in a equilibrium state move also la equilibrium a irukadhu so in movement la irukku so what will happen we cannot know the thermodynamics property so appo state 2 so per sec second property anga kandupidikona at the state la mattum da enala enna panna mudiyum kandupidikona is called as a state process is sorry but a change of state is called as a process so na inga inda inga porthukku i am doing some process illaya like i am applying some mechanical force illaya this is called as a process okay next one is a quasi static process so quasi static process is nothing but a slow process okay infinitely slow process so in case you are carrying a slow process then we can achieve the each state we can achieve the equilibrium state let good let here see this the piston and cylinder arrangement in initial beginning this is a state one say state one initial state or stop nothing but volume is decreases less volume so i pressure la irukke so top of the piston i am applying a huge number of weights now i remove a single weight what will happening the piston try to move up slowly move up so the volume is increases then pressure is decreases so this is a state 2 so again i remove the another weight so what will happening again the piston goes up the pressure decreases volume increases so each weight i am removing whenever i when i am removing the each weight then it reach the 
one state. The state is nothing but an equilibrium state. The e each time I, I can reach the equilibrium state. So it is only possible in quasi static process. Why? Because it is a very, very slow process. So each time I can reach the thermodynamic property. Each time I can reach the equilibrium state. In equilibrium state, I can know the thermodynamics property. So this is nothing but a quasi static process. Next one is here, the process can be classified to one is a reversible and irreversible process. If the initial state and the final state are same, then the process is called as a reversible process. If the any interpression is occurs during the process, then in case of piston cylinder movement, any interpression is occurs, any anything disturbance is occurs. So what will happening? That it's not reach the at same way. So it having a some interruption due to that some losses is may be happening. This process is called as a irreversible process. So the process that both state is same, then the process is called a reversible process. In case it not in same, then the process is called as a irreversible process. Next one is a heat and work transfer. So what is a heat and work transfer? So what? So when what is a heat transfer? Heat is why when the heat transfer is happening, if there is a temperature difference between the two system, then temperature is transferred. Say example, hot body to cold body. So hot body to the cold body transfer because of the temperature difference. So the heat is transferred when the difference in the two system. This is a temperature one, it's a higher temperature. This is a temperature two, it's a lower temperature compared to T1. So that the transformation of heat is happening between this is called as a heat transfer. Okay. Let's say work transfer is nothing but when you are applying the some amount of force to the piston. So what we are doing the displacement is happening. This is called as a work transfer. The unit displacement is called as a work transfer. Any mechanical work, the work transfer we can say the PDV. So it, there in, in a cycling process, work is nothing but a PDV. So what I know, so work is nothing but a force into a distance. Okay. So work is nothing but a, how much force is applied. So how much it move. So it's nothing but a force. It's nothing but a work. So for work is force into distance. In this process, the pressure. What is the force? Force is nothing but a pressure. Where is the changes in the volume? So it's nothing but a dV. So PDV is the work for the any process. So what is the displacement of work in PV diagram? So look, this is the animation video. So it's a volume and a pressure. So what will happen when I apply the decrease in volume, the pressure is increases. In increase in volume, the pressure is decreases. So this is nothing but a displacement of work. Okay. Next one is here zeroth law of thermodynamics. So what is the zeroth law of thermodynamics? When a two object are separately in thermo, thermodynamically equilibrium with the third object they are in equilibrium with each other let take as a thermo cup thermometer so thermometer is the one system my body is the one system if my body in a thermometer which are what will happen the temperature rises in make line a thermometer so how it's happening is a purely based on the zero law. so you know the body temperature Okay, like you know, the body temperature, thermometer and the sensor the temperature same are so when you yeah, two objects are separately in thermodynamic equilibrium, then no separate thermodynamic equilibrium, third system, the mercury themselves it reached the thermodynamic equilibrium state. It's called as a yeah, thermodynamic equilibrium, like a something but yeah, zero law of thermodynamics. Now I move to the first law of thermodynamics. What is the first law of thermodynamics? So first law of thermodynamics is nothing. The sum of the heat energy equal to sum of the work. So given heat, I can convert it into equivalent amount of work. It's nothing but a yeah, first law of thermodynamics. Any thermodynamic system in an equilibrium state process, the state variable is called as an internal energy. Between any two equilibrium state, the change of internal energy is equal to different of heat transfer into the system and the work done by the system. So it's nothing. First law of thermodynamics. So first law is tell to, tells that 
the net heat transfer equal to net work transfer so now every heat provide pandrom same amount of work vandu we can get in a cyclic process it's nothing but a first law of thermodynamics so before that we must know what is the gas law so okay there are three a uh, gas ideal gas laws are there one is a boyle's law next one is a charles law next one is a gay loose law okay so first one the boyle's law so boyle's is conducting an experiment with the pressure thermodynamic property like pressure volume and temperature it kept the temperature remain constant and then it varying with respect to pressure and volume it found that that the pressure inversely proportional to the volume if pressure is rises the volume should be decreases look like here the pressure is rise the pressure is rise with increase in the temperature the pressure is rise with increase in the temperature the volume also decreases so this is the observation done by the boyle's law as a charles law he did the pressure remained constant this experiment take as a consideration if the pressure remain constant the volume and temperature directly proportional okay in boyle's law the pressure inversely proportional to volume let's say charles law the temperature the directly proportional to volume in gay loose law is maintain a constant volume and pressure then temperature and pressure will increases he found out that the pressure are directly proportional to temperature okay so these are the major ideal gas law it is help to determine the thermodynamic property in the first law of thermodynamics okay right good now we move into the application of first law for non flow process or closed cycle so they have five processes are there the first process is constant volume process or isochronic process next one is a constant pressure process or isobaric process constant temperature process or isothermal process next one is a reversible adiabatic process first we are going in see into the constant volume process so what is the constant volume process so in constant volume process the volume remain constant the volume remain constant so the piston inside the piston we are filled with the gases the filled with the gases when you are heated up so what will happening the temperature is rises due to rising of temperature the pressure will rises the volume remain constant so this process is called as a isochronic process this process is called as a isochronic process next we are going into the constant pressure process or isobaric process in isobaric process the pressure remain constant it how can we maintain a remain constant pressure just we are top of the piston cylinder we are equal to amount of dead weight are added in the top top side of the cylinder okay so when you are heated up what will happen the temperature rises temperature rises due to rising of temperature the pressure is rises but in order to compromise the pressure constant pressure we need to add a dead weight so that what will happen the volume is increases with a constant pressure the movement of pressure remain constant inside the piston cylinder elements okay so this process is called as a isochronic process next we are going to see the isothermal process so how can we achieve the isothermal process we can achieve the isothermal process in order to adding the source temperature in the side wall of the cylinders okay so when we are he heated up what will happening the temperature rises but the the change of temperature with respect to change in temperature outside the surrounding so what we need to do what here we need to do just we maintain a constant temperature in order to maintain a constant temperature inside side 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 of the cylinder we are adding the source okay it's a huge amount of temperature like a equal amount of temperature what we supplied here so that the temperature remain constant in order to maintain a in order to raising the temperature and pressure the volume will increases this process is called as a isothermal process next we are going to see the adiabatic process so adiabatic process is a rapid process 
there is no heat transfer okay in this process there is no heat transfer just the side of the wall we are adding the insulator so that there is no heat transfer taken place from the system to surrounding so this is the adiabatic process only change in the pressure and the volume right so when say polytropic process also same similar as here adiabatic process okay this is the uh, basic formulas you need to required for to solve your thermodynamics process problems okay so just you keep this table in your mind okay now so this is a constant pressure process or isobaric process constant volume or isochoric process the constant temperature or isothermal process reversible adiabatic process so it's nothing but a gamma it's a gamma is indicate that uh, adiabatic index is generally for 1.4 so polytropic process the n indicate the polytropic index okay it vary for any value let's say gamma should be 1.4 if it is more than 1.4 or less than 1.4 then the process is called as a polytropic process okay right now we move into the problems so this is a first problem i determine the total work done by a gas system following an expression process expansion process as shown in figure so how we can solve so just a, so what we already studied we already studied that the under the curve under the curve any process is indicate that is nothing but a area under the curve is indicate that the transformation of either work or heat so here i need to determine the work so here the a to b this is a constant pressure process this is a polytropic process because the pv power 1.3 equal to c so the 1.3 is nothing but a it's a less than 1.4 so that the process is called as a polytropic process okay so here just i'm simply putting the values it's a given data va it's a volume so x axis indicate the volume then y axis indicate the pressure so we need to determine the total work done by the system okay so process a to b is a very constant pressure process then work done we know that under the curve always indicate the work so work done w equal to pressure the pressure applied pressure into v2 minus v1 we know the formula so the v is given in the bar so we need to convert it into kilo newton per meter square so that in just into multiply with 10 to the power of 2 otherwise 100 so from that we can determine the work done at a to b okay now we need to determine the work at BC. So BC polytropic process, we know the formula work done. P, P1 by P1, V1 minus P2, V2. Here the process is carried out between the B to C. So I can rewrite the formula BB, V2 minus PC, V3. Then N minus 1. So N, we know that 1.3. So PA, I know because PA equal to PB. Okay. Then we need to determine the V2 and V3 also we know. So we need to know what is a PC. So pressure at C. So we know the relationship PB by PC equal to V3 by V2 power N. Okay. So just to substitute the values. Then we can determine the PC. Then you substitute here. So network done is nothing but the pressure at work done at A to B. Then work done at B to C. So just add this value then we can determine the final answer. Okay. So I hope you may understand this problem. Okay. Next determine the work transfers and heat transfer from the system in which a perfect gas having a molecular weight of 1.16 kg per kilo moles is compressed from 101.3 kilo Pascal 20 degrees Celsius to pressure of 600 kilo Pascal following the law of PV power 1.3. So this process is called as a polytropic process. Why? Because PV power 1.3 less than 1.4. So that we can say this is a polytropic process. The 1.3 indicate the N value. It's nothing but a polytropic index. The specific heat at constant pressure, Cp, they given so 1.7 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. So now we solve this problem. So this problem we can solve. So what the values they are given? The value number second problem. 
determine the work transfer and heat transfer a system in which a perfect gas having a molecular weight of 16 kg per kilo moles is composed from 1.13 kPa to 20 degree Celsius to a pressure of 600 kPa. So following the law PV equal to so enna pandranga na or compression process pandranga under the polytropic process. So compress enga na 103.31 to 600 kPa ku enna pandranga compress pandranga. So at a temperature of 620 degree Celsius. Okay. Now we solve the problem. So, first we have given data to the molecular weight of the given gas. Given gas is molecular weight to the pressure at the initial state, temperature at the initial state, then final state, then the polytropic index is given, then CP, specific heat to the next we have given work transfer, then heat transfer that we need to determine. So, polytropic process is the work transfer formula to the end P1 V1 minus P2 V2 N minus 1. So, in the relationship, the P V equal to N formula is MRT we can write. Okay, wow. So, MRT is the V no. Okay. So, this formula we can write also MR. P V equal to MRT. Okay. So, in the other is the formula. MR T2 minus T1 divided by N minus 1. Okay. Wow. So, in the relationship, we can determine. Okay. Why? Because V1, V2, okay, wow. so it is very difficult to determine the V1, V2. So we can determine with the help of the relationship also. So we go with the chart. Okay. So other way, how can we determine? So we know the formula PV equal to MRT. Okay, wow. So other way, we can determine easily. Okay, because V1, V2, calculate the formula. Okay. If we M value, I don't know. The M is nothing but unit. Okay. So unit mass package I will need to determine. So R one the I want to determine. So R one the direct time go the gas on the yard and could go. Yeah, the zero point two eight sound of the constant at the clan, but in a gas I know you can a molecular weight could. So R gas constant R equal to N of Amana universal gas constant divided by molecular weight of the specific gas. So, generally denoted by the universal gas constant RU with the standard value 8.314. So, molecular weight of the given gas on the Kurthu Ganga 60. So, if the divide Pana and I got it, we the R value. Kodachana. So, R value M is 1. So, T2 minus T1, N minus 1. Put in and I got So, we can determine the work done by the system. Next one, the heat transfer on the we need to determine. So, heat transfer due for the polytropic process. Gamma minus N, Gamma minus 1 into work. So, work on the already contributes no. So, Gamma value you know. Okay. So, then N value also you know. Okay. So, now we can substitute the values on here. Then we determine the Q. Okay. Next thing is T2. On the so, T2 on the we can determine with the help of the relationship. T2 by T1 equal to P2 by P1 N minus 1 by N. So, this is the T2 contribution. We substitute it. So, both of them we can determine. Okay, right, good. So, next we move to the next problem. So, this is here a mass of 8 gauge gas expander with a flexible container. So, that PV relationship is of the from PV equal to 1.2. So, this also polytropic process. The initial pressure is 100 kilopascal and initial volume is 1 meter cube. Then the final pressure is 5 kPa. The specific internal energy of the gas decreases 40 kJ per kg. Find the heat transfer magnitude and direction. Okay, now we can solve. How to solve? So we can solve. So what are the given? First you should, whenever you are solving the problem, you should follow this structure. First you need to write a given data. So mass is given. So initial pressure, everything is given. So they provide the specific internal energy because the minus 40 kilojoules per kg. Okay, you need to know the total internal energy. So total energy you need, then you multiply with mass so that we can get the total internal energy. So you want the specific internal energy because kilojoules per kg. Okay, right. so now we heat transfer the general formula first law of thermodynamics. Q equal to W plus del U. Okay, right. so if del U is the given 
change of internal energy would have mass of multiple panina, what we get? We get the total internal energy. So now we need to W. So W can have formula P1 V1 minus P2 V2 divided by N minus 1. Okay, so now V1 V2 we need to know. So P2 by P1 equal to V1 by V2 N. Or V2 by V1 equal to P1 by P2 1 by N. So this is the V2 is already V1 is already given. So substitute the values. Then we will find the final answer. So they ask the total heat transfer Q. So Q equal to del U plus W. So del U the given in the question just you multiply with the mass then W is determined just to add the both then we get the final answer of the specific problem. Now we move on to the next topic. Next problem. A stationary mass of gas is composed without friction from an initial state of 0.3 meter cube and the final state of with a pressure and 0 0.015 megapascal to the final state of 0 0.15 meter cube and 0 0.15 megapascal the pressure remain constant so just to modify this this should be a constant pressure process so this value should be 105 megapascal so during the pressure remain constant during the process there is there is a heat transfer 37.6 kilojoules of heat from the gas during the process how much does internal energies of the gas is changes so now we solve this problem this is a constant pressure process so what are the values given so v1 0 0.3 v2 then p1 p2 then q q is given minus 37 degrees celsius so this is a constant pressure process we know that q equal to w plus del u so w we know the constant pressure process p v2 minus v1 so v1 v2 is given so that from that we can determine the work done so negative sign indicate the work done on the system now we determine the q equal to w plus del u so w q is given minus 37 then minus 15.750 plus del u so from that del u change of internal energy we can determine so change of internal energy minus 21.85 kilojoules now next problem so a gas undergoes thermodynamic cycle consists of the following process so different process Process 1 to 2 constant pressure. So P1 1.4 bar, V1 on the 0, 0.0. Then work done by the system. Next process 2 to 3 compression process. Process 3 to 1 constant volume process. So there is no significant change in kinetic and potential energy. First PV diagram we need to draw. Calculate net work done for the cycle. Calculate the heat transfer of the process. Show the sum of the heat transfer in the cycle is equal to sum of the work transfer. We need to prove the sum of the heat transfer equal to sum of the work transfer. It's the first law of thermodynamics. We need to prove. Okay, now we move on to the solutions. So, so what? So first we need to draw. So what is the process one to two? So one to two is the constant pressure process. The so the pressure is one point five. So constant pressure process because it's a during the process is a what what's happening the volume is increases okay because this is expansion next process two to three is a compression process so during the compression so the pressure is increases the volume is decreases okay the pressure is compressed pressure is so k down ago so volume decreases again pressure of the increase again. next three to one constant volume process because the cyclic process should close okay now so first question answer over the sketch of the cycle pv diagram calculate the network debt so what is the network debt the work debt 1 to 2 plus 1 w 2 to 3 work debt 3 to 1 so 1 to 2 is given in question so 10.5 kilojoules as a given so work debt 2 to 3 is a isothermal process so what we know though so it's a 2 to 3 so 2 to 3 the general work debt formula pdv so just a constant P is the constant just taking it away P to V2 so just to substitute the DV by V now we substitute the values so P to V2 ln of V3 by V2 so V3 equal to V1 why because it is a constant volume process 3 to 1 so V1 is given so V2 V3 equal to V1 so just to substitute the V2 value so V2 value how can we determine we know the work done from process 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 P V2 minus V1 so V1 is given 
So pressure P1 is given 